Okay, as the uh, president of the European Geosciences Union, it's a pleasure to open this uh, medal ceremony. Uh, besides me is uh, our vice president, Don Dingwell, and will be giving out the four union level medals and three uh, outstanding young scientist awards here in this ceremony. And uh, this ceremony is then proceed, uh, followed by uh, talks, invited presentations by the medalists. Uh, so I'd like to start with the uh, Arthur Holmes Medal. The Arthur Holmes Medal and honorary membership is awarded to Roland von Hune for his outstanding contributions to the outst uh, understanding of the geological processes of subduction zones. And if I could ask Dr. Hune to come up, please. your citation first. <laughs> okay, Roland von Hune has led fundamental new research on the quantification of geological processes at convergent margins spanning a wide range of topics that include tectonic, tectonics of subduction, erosion and accretion, the formation and evolution of the continental crust, the generation of interplate earthquakes and fluid flow out of descending slabs and accretionary prisms. Roland's work has shown that half of the world convergent margins conform the conceptually accepted accretionary model, but that the other half are dominated by tectonic erosion. He showed that the rates of tectonic erosion are significant and estimated that they may be as high as the rates of crustal generation at arcs, also showing that there may have been a long-standing balance between both processes. He predicted that considerable volumes of sediment on the incoming plates are subducted to great depths under arcs and that the products of tectonic erosion should also reach the upper mantle. Roland also showed that the pore fluid overpressures must play a fundamental role in the geometry and tectonics of shallow regions of the subduction zones and later expanded on the implications for interplate earthquake generation. He has also showed that the fluid flow driven by tectonic shortening is intimately associated to the tectonic style of upper plate deformation, both for accretionary and erosional convergent margins. His numerous findings arise from his pursuit of discovery of new scientific ideas and world-class leadership in the collection of observations. He has led and participated in numerous drillings and cruises. He has pioneered the way academia approaches the study of geology with geophysical methods, e.g. through mastering state-of-the-art geophysical imaging tools, even at times when they were typically only used in top industry labs. He became one of the scientific founding fathers of the GMR, where he was a director for almost a decade of the Marine Geodynamics Division. Thank you, President Polkinen, for uh, those kind words. Uh, please uh, accept my deepest gratitude uh, for this honor. And uh, thank you, EGU, and especially the uh, EGU Selection Committee uh, for their choice. Uh, it's a, a very significant gift uh, to know uh, that your peers uh, think your work is okay. And uh, as uh, I... Uh, sort of close my career in the next few years. Uh, please be assured that this is going to be one of the outstanding moments of my life and my career. Thank you. We then move on to the Alfred Wegener Medal. The Alfred Wegener Medal 
is awarded to Jean-Yves Parlange for his fundamental contributions to improved understanding and description of the geophysical aspects of transport in soils, aquifers, and other porous materials. Jean-Yves was trained at the France's prestigious Ecole Nationale Supérieure de l'Aeronautique, excuse my French, followed by his PhD research at Brown University, for which he received the prestigious Minta Martin National Award by the Institute of Aerospace Sciences. Dr. Parlange is renowned for his analytical skills in providing the mathematical and physical basis for deeper understanding of the behavior of geophysical fluids in porous media. Examples include inventing superposition in unsaturated porous media, developing analytical solutions for predicting erosion, extending theory for wetting front instability in air water and oil water systems, developing infiltration equations, and advancing measuring techniques for soil water parameters. In particular, two achievements stand out by their innovation, originality, scholarship, and lasting nature. Dr. Parlange in introduced a new fundamental approach to analyze water movement in soils by double integration of Richards equation. This method now forms the basis to obtain sim simple analytical solutions in practically all theoretical studies of unsaturated soil water flow conducted in hydrological science. More than 30 years ago, Dr. Parlange recognized the importance of wetting front instability in sandy soils overlying primary aquifers, resulting in the famous 1976 paper on the theory of calculating finger diameters. With the interest during the last 20 years in predicting the fast and early arrival of pesticides in groundwater, the 1976 theory has received much interest. Dr. Parlange, many collaborators comment on his fine personality, great enthusiasm, and inspiring expertise. Many of his graduate students are distinguished scientists still cooperating with him. He is an internationally recognized scholar who is known not only for his science, but for his truly kind and gentlemanly character. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Pulkinen. I am, of course, extremely pleased and quite honored to have received the Alfred Wegener uh, Medal. And uh, in passing, I know it's a cliche, but uh, from what Professor Pulkinen read, uh, you have seen that my career changed direction several times, and that was made possible only because of very generous colleague that shares their ideas and their data. And, the main one actually is in the audience, uh, Professor Stinhus, uh, with whom I have been working now for uh, almost 30 years, and then lots of uh, other colleagues I will not mention, and then my family, I shouldn't forget them because my wife and my son uh, came for this meeting. Thank you very much. And the third union-level medal is the Jean-Dominique Cassini Medal. The Jean-Dominique Cassini Medal is awarded to Gerhard Herendel for his pivotal role in the European exploration of space. Gerhard Herendel has been a pivotal figure in the European exploration of space throughout his career. He received his PhD in physics from the University of Munich in 1963. Six years later, he became a fellow of the Max Planck Institute for Physique and Astrophysique, and in 1972, he became the director of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physique, from which he retired at the end of 2000. 
1987, he was appointed honorary professor at the Technische Universität Braunschweig, and at the same year, he became vice president and dean of engineering and science at the International University in Bremen. Gerhard Herendel has more than 30 years of experience in space research, including the function of principal in investigator of several international rocket and satellite projects, such as Porcupine, Colored Bubbles, Ampti, Cress, Freya, and Equator S. The sounding rocket work pioneered the application of the barium plasma cloud technique to various aspects of plasma and magnetospheric physics. This work culminated in the creation of artificial comets in 1984 and 85. Herendel was one of the father, fathers of the four satellite cluster mission. His pioneering work opened a new view towards the understanding of the plasmas in space and its interactions with the solar wind. Interpretations of satellite data led to the discovery of dayside boundary layers, small-scale reconnection events, high beta plasma blobs in the magnetosphere, and the in-situ confirmation of reconnection. Theoretical work extends from the magnetospheric physics of plasma clouds, formation of ionospheric irregularities, equatorial spread F, ambipolar diffusion, diffusion of trapped particles, wave particle interactions, reconnection, boundary layers, auroral arcs, to cometary interactions, origin of solar spicules and flares, and gamma ray production in neutron stars. Herendel has also held numerous scientific leadership positions, including chair of the Council of the European Incoherent Scatter Radar, vice president of the International Academy of Astronautics, and president of the Committee on Space Research, or COSPAR just to name a few. Thank you very much, President Purkinen, uh, and the whole EGU for this honor. Uh, it, it came, of course, completely unexpected as these things come, and uh, I think uh, that uh, there's one thing that I don't deserve, and that's the name Cassini on the medal, because he was an astronomer, a planetary astronomer, and I restricted my work solely to the solar terrestrial environment. I never uh, did research as far as Saturn or so as Cassini did. But what I like is the wonderful name, Jean-Dominique Cassini. It sounds like uh, Marc-Antoine Charpentier from the same period of uh, the period of which I like the music so much. Now, coming to my work, you could see from the many little things that were mentioned uh, that uh, I needed two things, the umbrella of the Max Planck Society, and it is a fantastic thing to work at a Max Planck Institute, and I enjoyed this for almost 40 years. The other is there were a lot of people needed to enable me to carry out my ideas and do my experiments. And I am really, I have to express this here, extremely grateful to all these scientists, engineers, technicians, assistants, and so forth, for not only doing their work, no, they dedicated their life to it. And our life was quite interesting. We went up to the very north, to the north of Greenland, or to Antarctica, or uh, to the magnetic equator, and many remote places, and very often it needed sacrifices of these people to really make our work happen. So my thanks go in particular to these uh, men and women. And finally, to my wife, because she uh, never minded Perhaps she didn't say so, but she never minded uh, that uh, I was completely absorbed for so many years by my work and was so often absent from home. She kept the family intact. She raised and educated our three daughters and gave me the background on which I could do my research and stay happy. Thank you. And the fourth Union Medal that the EGU has is the Alexander von Humboldt Medal. 
The Alexander von Humboldt Medal is awarded to Carlos A. Nobre for his outstanding work on biosphere-atmosphere interactions with particular emphasis on the Amazonian forest and their role in the Earth's climate system. And the citation reads, Carlos Nobre is one of the most respected and influential South American scientists in atmospheric scientists and one of those playing a leading role internationally. His research in earth system science has been largely devoted to biosphere-atmosphere interactions with particular emphasis on the Amazonian forest and their role in the Earth's climate system. Nobre investigated the exchange of energy, water and carbon between the biosphere and the atmosphere and modeled the impact of Amazonian deforestation on the regional climate. He studied smoke and chemical species emitted from forest fires and their impact upon clouds and radiation and coordinated large-scale international projects investigating the environmental effects of uh, biomass burning. One of the most important field experiments was the large-scale biosphere-atmosphere experiment in Amazonia for which he was the coordinator. Currently, he is the chairman of the International Geos Geosphere Biosphere Program. Carlos Nobre's outstanding scientific achievements and pioneering contributions towards investigating and modeling climate, in particular for the impact of large-scale forest destruction on the South American climate, biosphere-atmosphere interaction and related natural hazards, are largely published in high-level peer-reviewed journals. They made him renowned and respected worldwide, as did his leadership in developing and organizing the Brazilian Center for Weather Forecasting and Climate Studies, for which he served as a director, and his roles as a coordinator or chairman of international research initiatives such as LBA and IGBP. Carlos Nobre is a member to many national and international scientific and educational committees, and he has a long list of honors and awards. As one of the lead authors of the 2007 IPCC report, he shares the 2007 Nobel Prize awarded to IPCC and Al Gore. Thank you very much, President uh, Polkinen, for your kind words. Uh, I feel very honored and pleased to be awarded the von Humboldt Medal. I want really to thank, this is a collective work. Uh, I've been collaborating with many people. I have to thank especially my uh, graduate students, PhD students throughout my career. Also, my many international collaborators, uh, most of them in Europe, uh, by the way, in the UK, Germany, Netherlands, uh, France, uh, Portugal. Throughout my career, I benefit a great deal for international collaboration. Also, I want to say that uh, throughout my career, I could see the rapid development of Earth system science in the developing world, in South America in particular. When I started, we were just really beginning to consider to do uh, science at the international level. And now I think we are partners with many international programs and uh, I believe doing science uh, at the, the highest level. And I think this medal is a recognition. It's interesting also to note that uh, I, I am very pleased that this medal is von Humboldt medal. Uh, von Humboldt was a great scientist, a great naturalist. And in fact, I think a lot of colleagues that do earth system science today, and many are here in this uh, magnificent meeting, in fact, I think all of us aspire to become like von Humboldt. We are becoming interdisciplinary scientists, so we want really to perhaps to leave a little bit disciplinary science uh, 
to have a grasp of how the Earth system functions. Perhaps as von Humboldt probably knew uh, in, in those days. And last but not least, also I want to, to thank my family and especially my wife also for providing me all the support that I need to continue my career. Thanks a lot. So we now move to the um, young scientists. And uh, the first, we have three young scientist awards this year. The first one uh, is awarded to Alexander Barth for uh, his achievements in the field of data assimilation in, in oceanography, to which he has contributed original ideas on the development of assimilation strategies for regional ocean models. And the citation is, Alexander Barth's major contribution has have been new ideas in data assimilation. In particular, he developed an interesting framework to test different assimilation strategies for regional models. After his brilliant thesis, Alexander Barth implemented his original assimilation techniques for operational purposes. He significantly contributed to the project Global Ocean predication with a hybrid coordinate ocean model for which the consortium got the NOPP award for excellence in partnering. Alexander's scientific ideas have led to an impressive number of presentations at scientific meetings and publications in peer-reviewed journals. Dr. Barth always has a very open-minded and constructive approach, never hesitating to share his findings and developments, including the software that he develops. He's even a regular contributor to Octave, the MATLAB clone. Several interactive websites are based on his developments and still in use. Well, thank you very much. This was very unexpected and, uh, well, I am really uh, grateful and very honored by this award. And, uh, and it wouldn't be possible with the support and help of, uh, of my colleagues and, and friends and and yeah, thank you very much. The second Outstanding Young Scientist Award is presented to Jasper A. Frucht for his outstanding contributions on model development, calibration, diagnostics, and their improvements. Jasper. And the citation is, the ability to make hydro hydrological predictions in the context of global change is one of the biggest challenges the science of hydrology is facing today. And Jasper Frucht's research on model development, diagnostics and improvement is instrumental towards addressing these challenges. Jasper's research focuses on the development of general purpose algorithms and numerical approaches that aim to better extract information from the mismatch between model predictions and observations to quantify individual error sources and improve theory, understanding and predictability of environmental systems. Jasper has made significant contributions to four distinct disciplines, soil physics, parameter estimation through model calibration, <coughs> uncertainty estimation using Bayesian statistics, and hydrology. Currently, he is actively researching model diagnostics and evaluation problems in geophysics, atmospheric chemistry, and eco-hydrology. And he has started to publish on bird migration, electrical resistivity, tomography, and magnetic resonance imaging. His accomplishments in any one of these disciplines would rank him among the most insightful and impactful scientists of his generation. 
What's more, based on the nature of his research, his generous personality, and his unparalleled ability to see the important and tractable questions in a wide range of disciplines, there's no question that he will continue to excel throughout his career. Jasper has already published 50 uh, publications in international peer-reviewed journals. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Polkin and, uh, and everyone at the AU, colleagues, friends, family. It's uh, a great surprise for me uh, to receive this award, actually. Uh, and uh, instrumental was uh, Alberto Montanari from the hydrology uh, section president and uh, Huub Savanay, actually, who, uh, who helped uh, put this nomination forward. And um, actually, there's a lot of help that I have had in my career so far. It's only been like 12 years, but a lot of help, instrumental help by others. So I'm not standing here just because of myself, but by the help that I received from so many other individuals. And I'm thinking about my uh, advisor in Amsterdam, Willem Bout and uh, Koos Verstraat. And then I spent like half a year at UC Davis with uh, Jan Hopmans. And then I spent some time in Arizona with Hoshin Kupta and uh, Suru Sarushan. And then I finally moved to Los Alamos for a while there with Bruce Robinson and others. And then now in Irvine, so it's certainly their contributions are reflected in, uh, in, this, uh, in this award. So, and I finally like to thank my family, is that they really did the essential legwork for me to be on this planet. So that was very useful. So <laughs> anyway. anyway, thanks so much. The third Outstanding Young Scientist Award is presented to Valerio Lucarini for his major contributions to the understanding of multiscale variability in chaotic dynamical systems and the application of these ideas to meteorology and climate. And the citation reads, Valerio Lucarini is author of more than 30 peer-reviewed articles published in journals ranging from the highly theoretical Russian Journal of Mathematical Physics, the Journal of Statistical Physics, European Physical Journal, through those devoted to applying theory and numerical modeling to climate and meteorology, such as climate dynamics, Journal of the Atmospheric Sciences, Journal of Geophysical Research, to those concerned with very practical applications, such as the International Journal of Environment and Pollution. Professor Lucarini's work on the water budget of the Danube Basin has been applied to the development of flood, flood maps in Europe, and his recent studies of multiscale variability in deterministically chaotic dynamical systems is pertinent to the development of stochastic parameterizations in operational weather climate prediction models. Professor Lucarini has already an international reputation and he is collaborating with well-known scientists. His service to the public should be noted as well as his scholarly achievements. In particular, he is an experienced teacher of courses in math, physics, climatology, and fluid dynamics. His teaching experience includes undergraduate courses taught to inmates of the high security national prison in Prato, Italy, underscoring Professor Lucarini's commitment to the common benefit. Uh, of course, uh, it's a great honor to be here, and I wish to thank uh, uh, the EGU uh, for being uh, such a great environment uh, for developing uh, my scientific ideas and uh, my uh, career. And actually, I have uh, to note that uh, I'm uh, very happy and surprised that uh, uh, one of the things that's mentioned in, uh, in the motivation for my prize is uh, uh, the fact of having taught as a volunteer waking up early in the morning uh, to some uh, activities is in, in a high security 
a prison in Italy, which is something I'm really proud of and uh, something uh, which has been one of the most intense experience of my life because that's uh, the situation where you see the liberating power of knowledge. And once you teach to a person uh, something that is important for you and that's important for him, there are no barriers, there is no past, there is no judgment, there is uh, the joy of knowing and teaching. I thank you very much. We have one more award that we will give out this year. The Union Service Award will be, uh, is awarded to Jelle Bima in recognition of his service for the Union as President of the Division on Biogeosciences, his exceptional dedication, commitment and his active participation in the Council and on several committees, as well as for his work as editor of the journal Biogeosciences. And the citation, Jelle Bima's research interests fo focus on process-oriented studies of the incorporation of isotopes and trace elements into biogenic carbonates, biomineralization, global biochemical cycles, specific specifically the carbon cycle, and processes of modern and past climate change. He published more than 50 publications in internationally peer-reviewed journals. He has been coordinator of several EU bilateral nat uh, national projects and serves on several national and international scientific committees and programs dealing with biogeo biogeology, paleo-oceanography, modern and past climate and global change in research, training and outreach. He is chair of the scientific committee of the ESF Euro Climate Programme. Jelle served EGU as president of the Biogeosciences Division in 2005-2009 and as editor of the EGU Open Access Journal Biogeosciences since 2004. Thank you very much, uh, Tuya. Thank you, Don. Um, I'm glad that I also said something about my science. I thought I'd just get it for hard work. Um, I will not start to try naming all those who helped me with all that I'm doing. Maybe just three names, Jeanette, Nink and Ilinka, my wife and my two daughters. Thank you very much. And then before we move to the um, medal lectures, we still have one more occasion, and I'd like to ask Michel Crucifix and André Berger to come on board. Is Michel here? I don't see Michel, so Gerald will have to impersonate Michel. You don't know. Sometimes things go wrong, but it is life. So I'm not Michel Crucifix. Uh, I try to replace it. This, only a few pe people knew, this is not taken up in the program because it is a surprise for you, Andre. We had your retirement symposium in Nouvelle and Earth, and we had a special issue in climate of the past. Here you are. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, um, we have 20 copies for you brought here, <laughs> which you can take up as a Copernicus uh, booth or publisher, where you can take them and give to your friends which are here you the rest of these days. Very good, thanks very much. Thank 
I don't know, because it's, it, for the other, it's probably a surprise, but when you are a scientist, you are always expecting this kind of surprise. And so uh, here, it's, it's real, totally unexpected surprise, because I thought that this meeting was over. It is indeed to, uh, to my colleague, and uh, in particular the members of uh, AGU, that I had this privilege of having a symposium organized uh, on the occasion of uh, something that nobody likes, which is called retirement. But uh, very fortunately, I am continuing science now, and this is certainly one of the best souvenirs that I will have in the collection of all the papers and uh, books that I have edited or I have been part of it. So thanks again very much for uh, AGU to have collaborated to that effort, and unfortunately, Michel, uh, who has organized this, I don't know where is he, probably attending meeting. Thank you. In the era of electronic publishing, just getting a hard copy of your work is worth mentioning in an award ceremony.